Forum for Democratic Change Party appealed to Ugandans to agitate for their constitutional rights by engaging the representatives to the national assemblies in constructive debates on the state of affairs in the country, not excluding peacefully demonstrations. The party deputy spokesperson, John Chikonyogo, cited government interventions in regional stability, the latest being Uganda's invasion in the DRC, to pursue Ugandan best rebel group, the ADF, that has destabilized Uganda and the host country, DRC. Despite of UPDF's joint operation with Kong's national army, FADAC, to neutralize the ADF rebels in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, the FDC is mindful of the ICC recent ruling in previous war reparations involving Uganda in the late 1990s in DRC to a tune of 325 million US dollars, a burden, they say, goes to the taxpayer. We have been there for more than a month. The people of Uganda demand a statement on what is going on in Zaire. People of Uganda want to know how much money do we spend every day. In Uganda, we spend our taxpayers' money to help others, but nothing comes back to us. That's why we are asking the people, of, the people in government, how much money are you going to pay in Zaire? How much is Zaire contributing to this war? In another development, the FDC is flouting Ugandans for the silence paged on the skyrocketing fuel prices and other commodity prices. A good number of them are from government. Those days you used to have some quality control because you had about two or three companies, Shell, Toto, Caltex. At least you know you go to Caltex, you are going to control about a thousand fuel stations, I mean fuel stations. Today, there's Chikonyogo fuel station, there's Chico fuel station, there's John fuel station, there's Joe. There are so many that you have, don't, don't have a, a central control. Whereas the economy has been reopened, Chikonyogo says government needed to offer cash bailouts to private schools that have since closed to stabilize from the effects of COVID-19 that nearly brought the world economy to its knees. I'm Navka Farida and San Anit in Najanankumbi.